They teach us how to learn. It's called a rote memory system of learning. It's based on repetition, 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 and reading as its primary vehicle. Wow, is that efficient. And what happens is we get stalemated by the time we're about six or seven years old, we've lost our photographic memory. We're programmed right out of using it. We've stymied the use of the subconscious part of the brain that we learned automatically and naturally with until that time. And now we've become basically a robot with an extremely inefficient way to learn. Now, I'm not knocking the teaching profession. They don't know another way. This is how they're taught, too. But there is another way, and this is it. And it's right back to the way that we were doing it naturally and automatically until we were told another way. But for some reason, we didn't continue using that way. It was too good, I guess. What's really interesting is, no matter where you are out here, the learning curve goes down the rest of your life once you start to be taught how to learn. Amazing. It not only just doesn't go up as, as much or level off, it goes down. We spend the next 12 to 16 years of our life educating our conscious, basically our conscious reasoning part of the brain, which represents maybe 10% at the most of our brain's potential. If we had it completely educated, it would only represent maybe 10% of our brain's potential. The 90% that's really not being utilized and being suppressed is this that we were using naturally here. And all we do in this course is take you back to using a very natural, automatic way to learn that you've all done before. That's why it's simple. It's easy to do, and it's natural. Every one of us possesses the ability, we just have to get back in touch with it. Be shown how to get back in touch and use it. And what happens is, no matter what age you are on this scale, as you go along, it just reverses this, goes right back up again, just like it did there. What we're dealing with here is automatically, however, as a byproduct of using this process, an awareness and perception level goes up quite dramatically, measurably seven to ten times the norm. Now that is so dramatic that in fact what you're doing is opening up an entire world to yourself that has always been there, but you simply haven't been perceiving it before. Things will, you'll all of a sudden be aware and see and perceive things that, that right in your own home, that guys you haven't noticed for years possibly, or driving to work that, wow, I go by that every day, but I never, don't remember ever seeing that. It also allows you to do something else that Dr. Farr talked about yesterday, and that is you get to the point where that awareness and perception level go up so dramatically that you cross over the line and you literally anticipate things taking place before they happen. Because the part of the brain you're dealing with has that ability. The subconscious part of the brain, and I'll just lop it in as the subconscious, it's actually a very specific part of the subconscious, but the fact is the subconscious part of the brain is not limited by time nor space. And consequently, it can photograph information at phenomenal rates of speed. By the way, we didn't stop at 606,000 words a minute with Larry Maper. We just stopped turning pages. Nobody could turn pages any faster. Then we went to a machine called a statistoscope, which flashed information at subliminal speeds all the way to 40 milliseconds which with full pages of written material calculated, ca calculated out to be two million words per minute. The machine peaked out, not the mind. The mind was handling it beautifully at two million words a minute, but the machine couldn't go any faster. Still, 85 to 95 instant verbal or written recall of the information at two million words a minute. That is subliminal. That is outside of the conscious perception. That is so rapidly that you're consciously unaware of anything even being flashed on the screen. But subconsciously, you had got it verbatim.